Hey, what's the deal, y'all? Sagittarius, the collective. I hope you've been doing okay. Because uh, spirit wants you to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Mm -hmm. So, yes, pay attention to people that's going to, this person that's going to come back in your life with these romantic feelings. Your person, your feelings, excuse me, are real and worth exploring. So don't let this person move too fast with you. You know, if you want this person back, let them really prove that to you. And if you don't want this person back, 9 out of 10, they probably really did something that added up to 7. Because that's usually psychologically the number that you go through with this person when you're just done and it probably was more than that but it took probably seven major fucking things for you to just put it as a quit or um you caught on after a while that you know uh this person was doing things if you could calculate them right because this person on uh reconciliation Someone from your past is returning to your life. I have four cards out here of what you need to ask yourself. But I'm hoping they also give us what's that red flag. And I'll pull more if it don't. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innocent self. Not your innocent self. Your innermost self to each other. Your bond deepens. So maybe this person was judging you, they didn't get to know you, was talking shit about you. But you know, this person probably was doing average people shit. You know, you gotta look at, I'm sure you can, Sagittarius, look at things at both perspectives, you know? And so when this person get with you, they gonna have to be on a very, very high vibration, you know? They gonna have to let go a lot of those demonic ass ways they have, right? And hopefully they come to you before that with they shit together. Because you need to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Healing family issues. I'm going to say this real quick to forgive your parents. You know, I'm going to say this real quick because some people are not aware of this. But when you think about your parents, reverse it. You know, they probably left you, abandoned you. You probably went through some things with your parents. You probably was put up for adoption. Whatever you felt like you went through, you know, it take a strong, dumb person to do dumb shit. You know, it take a strong person to abandon you. It take a strong person to talk to you in a stupid fucking way. It take a strong person to be sneaky. And you could take that strength and know that it's times when you probably date someone and they're not treating you right and you wonder why you still like them because they remind you of your parents whether you know your parents or not. Believe me. So the good things that you did see in your parents for some of y'all that can't see good things in your parents, know that when you're looking for someone and you like them and they're treating you right, nine out of 10, they're gonna have the good traits of your parents, okay? And if you're a twin flame, you probably went through the mental, physical, or uh, for some of y'all hate to think, sexual abuse that they went through too. And then you can have an understanding of why, of why the environment you know, changed them and why they could be sociopaths. Look it up if you don't know what that means. So, yes. Let's get on with what you need to ask yourself with these four pinnacles and your Capricorn energy. What situation in your life are you still holding on to? When it comes to your parents, when it comes to this relationship, so you can free yourself. Remember, you need to take control of your life. Seven of Wands. What's, what you need to reflect that's in the core of your heart. So you could get lucky with this seven, with this love. You need to unravel what area of your life needs boundaries and protection. You know, like that money, honey, you know, protecting, getting security and stability and getting your house stable, right? With this little fortune. 
So I feel like, let's read this one. What changes are entering your life and how are they a part of your destiny? Okay, so know that you looking like this. And people see that. You're looking like this. You something somebody could probably touch, feel. You might taste good. Smell good. You're looking like this. But this is the red flag. You need to have your guard up. And we first to hit confirmation. Because people are going to try to trap you. Someone is going to try to trap you. Try to trap you in your heart and intellect. Probably give you a baby. Probably give you STD. Probably abuse you. Probably just do some nasty shit to you. To keep you trapped in your mind with this Gemini energy. Two-faced it. Confusing you. Crumbing you. Want to love bomb you. Come in and act like they like you. Play on the phone. Try to act like they need help. What situation in your life is holding you back? Yeah. Let's see. Then what situation in your life is holding you back? So let's pull. Put this one here. Let's pull two more because we know the sixth card or maybe three because the seven is confirmation. The sixth card is usually. So right now this is your current energy. You're looking like this. Like you really have it going on. Remember whether you try to hide it or not. You probably just look like a clean ass person, whether your clothes are cheap or not, you know. You probably just take care of your damn self. Good hygiene. You lucky, you looking lucky over there. And people wanna trap you. Keep wanna keep you held back from what you got going on. Six, yep, what you have going on with this six of swords. You're reflecting how you moving around. You're reflecting. You're probably bringing demons out of people. What do you need to remove yourself from your, for your peace of mind? Maybe you need to start going to places in better neighborhoods, manifesting, and staying out of your neighborhood, or just doing things different, like staying off the social media as much, uh, going out and pampering yourself, trying new things. Mm-hmm. People looking at you. What is growing and evolving in your in your life that needs attention? See, you're gonna have new demons on new levels. That's why you have your exes coming back to you and looking at you like you gold and shit. Looking at you like this, and they don't like that. 